What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Evolution Everton, where it is time for Team of the Year Foot Champs. And it is a big one, not just because we want to get Team of the Years in our player picks and stuff, but because in order to unlock two red picks, the pro red pick, I need to get 15 wins. Now, I'll be honest with you, I am slightly regretting giving away free wins in the previous foot jump. So you can see I've only played 77 out of 80 games, and that's because over the four weeks, we gave three free wins away. Now, I wouldn't have won all three of them, but I would have expected to win one or two and only need to be getting 13, like I did last week, or maybe even 12 wins this week. No, we need 15. We bottled 14 last week. We need to get 14 and then bottle 16 this week in order to unlock double red picks. Now, we also need to decide what to use A, our first red pick on, and then B, if we manage it, that red pick on. And we also need to decide what team to run. And I've got a very, very, very big upgrade to this team that is going to come in just a second. Now, we played Champs Qualies. I did put Van Dyke back in. I'm going to be honest with you. Informed Tarkovsky, it's not very good. So I put, I put Van Dyke back in, and I think we went like 8-2 and two or something like that in qualities, whilst somewhat try hardened, but also kind of just messing about. So, engage the brain, Andy, like I said last week when we come on camera, and play properly every single game, and we will be able to get 15. Hopefully. Now, Evos. Let me hop over there and show you guys. So, I've been working on this Seamus Coleman, because we've only got a couple of days left to finish him. Done the first section, need to do the second section, I've done one of them. And then need to do the third section, but I am tempted to leave him at this or at least I'll do this section, but not claim it, like with Calvert Lewin. So Calvert Lewin's currently stuck like this because I haven't claimed this one. I'm probably going to do the same with Coleman because that looks reasonably evilable again, does this one. We do miss out on a lot of upgrades because it's plus five, plus six, plus five, plus five. But it also gives dead ball plus, which is a bit dead. It's in the name. So we might just leave that and just leave him like this. And maybe we can Evo Seamus Coleman again at some other points. Now, what I'm actually coming over here for is not to quickly run you guys through these ones again, where I, I need to put Calvert-Lewin into stop right there once we see what Evo comes out tonight at 6 o'clock. This, this is why I'm here. Who do we make red? Let me know in the comment section. Queen Selma's been upgraded and is back in the team ahead of Havertz. She's just clear. So I'm tempted to do her because it just looks class with that dynamic image, to be honest with you. I don't, people always suggest doing Everton players. I don't want to do Everton players because I want to Evo them again. And when I Evo them, they will lose the red background. So yes, I would love to have an Evo red Danjuma or a red Garner or a red Bramfait, who's always in our team. But once I Evo them again, they'll lose it. So the only one I was tempted by is Tarkovsky because that looks class. Blue kit contrasting the red background on the dynamic image. And then my other option, I've played against a few people who have done icons but left them green. I think that looks terrible with the black and white image on the red, but the black and white image on the green doesn't look too bad. So let me know down in the comment section. We're hopefully, by the end of this weekend, going to have two of them. And we'll be able to Red Evo one and Pro Red Evo another, which would be class. Another good one, this John Stones looks quite good, but I haven't actually used them yet. And I don't know how he's going to fit into the team. Potential. Harry Kane looks quite good as well. We do use Harry Kane. Yeah, so anyway. That's a decision to be made further on down the line. And we're potentially, hopefully, going to have two of them to choose from. Now, the team. Constantly dilly-dallying about the best way to set this team up. And I am just going to play with the best team that I possibly can make, which does include some Everton players, because Ducore is class. And Dan Juma has been doing really, really well playing at striker. I'm not sure about Bramfight. I'm very tempted. I have a 24-game loan Laurent Blanc, which I'm really tempted to use just because that's how desperate we are to get the two red picks and be able to flex that we're good at this game. Because if you get that, I think that's when you can officially say you are really good at this game because you've consistently got 14 wins across a whole section season of foot jumps. For me, I would be basically guaranteed it if I hadn't have run Everton foot jumps, which is really annoying. But we did, and that's fine. And I can't complain. I just need to bag 15 this week and we'll get it. And I think at that point, that is like, I'm good at this game. So I'm tempted to put Blanc in because he's an absolute pain in the ass to play against. But I also quite like the, the not moral high ground, but like the the feeling of supremacy from doing it with Jared Bramfleet in the team. And I think he's played the most games for me now at 431. I think he's overtaken Garner. He has, yeah. He's 11 games ahead. So 
I think I might stick with Bramfight. But someone I am not be sticking with is Spinozola. Now, we sold Cancelo because he was coming down in price and because we bought him for 120k. And because he had high-low work rates and basically just left our right side completely exposed. We tried Spinozola in Champs Collies and he's got Rapid Plus, which is quite nice. It makes him run really fast, as you would expect. And he's got five-star skills, which is quite nice, but also kind of dangerous for me to have. And he's pretty good. I can't really complain too much about him. He's fine, but he's, he's only worth 20k and he's only worth 20k for a reason because he's fine. Now, EA have just dropped one of the best value SBCs this year. And I have started working on Eusebio. And I think I'm going to pivot because we've still got loads and loads and loads of time to do Eusebio. We've still got 27 days and crap loads of packs. I am going to rush complete this Cafu and use him in foot champs right now. Because he's actually, for me, he's just fodder that I have in my club. Because bronze and a silver squad, whatever. 81 squad, whatever. 83 squad, it does need a team of the week, which is a bit annoying. But we can do some player picks to get some. Again, an 85 squad needs a team of the week. And an 85 squad needs a team of the week. Not too expensive if you do the team of the week player picks. And then, this 88 squad, the most expensive one, that costs about 200k. I can do it with mostly gold fodder from my club. A Morientes, an Ian Rush, Taremi, and Sigankov. Every single player in this team is untradeable. We're going to get all of the golds back anyway, when we open all of our packs for team of, the, team of the Year. So, no bother there. We've then got this one, where again, we've got some golds in it, but we are starting to use like random rubbish from our club. So we got this Pedro, we got given Martha for free for playing a game of the foot draft. Bamboo is an objective, I think. Wijnaldum, we don't talk about him on the road to glory. We've had about 4 million Conor Gallagher's at <laughs> this high end, guys. So again, just all completely untradeable and just sitting in my club doing absolutely nothing. That does the second squad. 86 squad, again, all completely untradeable. Just sitting in my club, never getting used. That is 400k of the squads just from M3 done using just random rubbish that's just sat in my club. And the maddest part about it as well, my game has, my game has not crashed. The menus have just gone really slow. The maddest part about it is it doesn't use any of the actual really high-rated fodder. I have two Harry Canes, so we can use this Harry Kane. I've got a De Bruyne. I'm pretty sure I quick sold a De Bruyne. I can get another one back. I've got Bruno Fernandes. I've got Kim Little. I've got Pop. Dzeko, Courtois, Benzema, Lewandowski, Varon, Perez, Salah, Rodri, Kunde is basically fodder to me, even though he's really good. Our, so, so, there's so many cards that aren't included in the SPCs, and we've got ridiculously high rated fodder for. We're absolutely going to do it. We're going to get some extra packs for it, which, whatever. We've got loads and loads of packs to open. Next Friday, or by the time you guys are watching this video, on Friday, when the full team drops, is when we're going to open them for full team nominees and icons to be in packs. Please, EA. Please. Here we go. We are powering through the Cafu SBC. I'm actually really excited. It's a bit weird putting a new player in and not at least testing them out in champ squallies before you go into foot champs. However, I think I can be pretty confident in saying, I also, I've definitely done all of the objectives with this B Talons. Let me just triple check before we submit him. I can be pretty confident that Cafu is going to be quite good. You know, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure Cafu's gonna be good. So I think we'll be alright there. Right, let me have a look. B talent goal rush complete. Lovely. So we've got an 85 plus, 85 times two. Jumbo pack. We've got the UEFA pack. We're doing the daily logins. We've got so much fodder to get back that I think we're gonna be able to do this and Eusebio and maybe Sour or Maldini or flashback Alex Morgan or something crazy as well. So pretty chill. Pretty chill. So there we go. I have submitted the three squads that I had set up here and the two bronze and silver squads that I had set up as well. They are gone. We've now got four squads left to do and we already have an inform for one of them. And he also ticks off the Serie A part, which is pretty cool. So we've got an 87 inform with Berardi. I need to make this squad do three more Team of the Week player picks and then we'll basically have Cafu to go in our team and kick foot champs off. Let's go do it. All right, just to keep you guys up to speed with what I'm submitting. We obviously had this Berardi in form and then just loads of random junk from a club is finally getting used up, which is good. Still costing me absolutely nothing, just opportunity cost, I guess, as the traders would say. So in goes that stuff. As another squad ticked off and another pack gained to open 
maybe this evening to start restocking the club a little bit, or next Friday, Sunday, whenever everything comes back into packs. We've then got this 81 rated squad, which is dead easy to do. Like, that's just random, untradeable, non rares basically. Chilling in my club. And that gets you a lone calf of actually, which maybe we could have tried out before we full sent the whole thing, but I've played against them so many times, and no, he's insane. It's fine. Two squads to go. Both of them require an inform, and not on too high rated. Like, this one's only 83. Now, informs have gone down in price quite a lot, and are only about 28k. To do the player pick from scratch is 25. So it's better value to do this anyway, but this also gives you a chance at getting something insanely good. And also, I do have some informs in my club that I could just pop in, but they are tradable, and we can hold, hang on to them and wait for them to go back up in price, like this guy Chris, or I don't know how to say that. So we'll be chilling. Hopefully my inform investment goes slightly better than last time with Cole Palmer, who I bought for 37k and is now worth about 28. But, you know, we move. So I need to do a couple of inform player picks, maybe pack Mbappe in them. And if we don't pack Mbappe in them, we'll pop the inform into the final two squads of... I, mate, my fodder is absolutely f crazy. How have I got 91, 90, 89, 88 fodder? And then apart from Kyle Walker, it goes... And Giles... It goes down to 80. It's crazy. But yeah, we can get these done. And get some informs and have a chance of packing a good inform. And if we don't, into Cafu to go. Unfortunately, we didn't pack any god tier team of the weeks, but we did pack ones that are decent fodder. We got Kosunu, who is 86 rated and is nice. And then we've built this squad, which is basically free again. I think the only tradable player is Bremer because we needed the Brazilian. So in they go. And then finally, one last squad for Cafu before we can start our foot champs journey is the AC Milan squad. Where I've just accidentally submitted some of the players twice. Also, just to show you guys, if you're wondering, we have got obscene amounts of fodder in the club. I've just been really scrimping and taking my time to try and use stuff that is untradeable, basically. So 84 and above fodder is just calm in the club. We do need to buy some 83s because we are, as you can see, running very low. But I'm just going to, for the sake of a thousand coins, throw in an 84, throw in an 80 instead of two 83s and say, thank you very much. Let me see this Cafu walkout. Oh, this is going to be good. I am excited. He's a right wing back normally. He's going to be playing right back for us. He's got Relentless Plus. He's got 90 pace, 83 pass, and 85 dribble. Oh my god, he's so good. I despise playing against this guy as well. So I feel for my opponents. We have just taken our right back to the next level. Look at him. He's so good. High medium, four star skills, three star weak foot's okay. 90 pace, nicely balanced pace as well, which is good. When somebody's got like 80 pace, but it's got 90 sprint speed and 70 acceleration, they just feel like a truck, so that's good. His dribbling is pretty good. Could maybe use a little bit more agility and balance, and I'm tempted to put an engine on him because we're going to be playing him as an attacking right back and without any defensive boost. He's already got 90 interceptions, 90 stand tackle, 88 defensive awareness. Insane. Relentless Travella, which is going to be interesting because he's got no shooting stats at all, really. But apparently, people have seen pros use him and be banging Travellers of him. Presumably because Travellers are just broken and he has this playstyle. So, I'm excited to try him. Let's get him in the squad. Let's choose a chem style. And let's get into foot champs. Here we go. This is big. This is game number one. This is full concentration mode, Andy. Come on. It's not the best team I've ever seen, which is... Positive to begin with, but we just need to not be complacent. We're not... This guy could be insane at this game. It could be Matt H the game on another three-day road to glory, and he's about to absolutely batter me. Full concentration. Honestly, thought we just scored immediately. He was offside. Okay. There we go. 1-0. Lovely. Dan Juma. Harry Kane in the Rooney role playing the passes and Dan Juma in the Rooney role with the pace and dribbling. In the Kane role, sorry, with the pace and dribbling. It's actually really good. All right, Cafu, mate. Show him how it's done. No, Trezeguet's faster, even though... I went for a shadow on Cafu, by the way, so he has 99 pace. Oh! 
Oh, Dan Juma, you've got to bury that, mate. I should have greened it, to be fair, but still. Cafu! Who needs finishing when you've got Travella? <laughs> what a game. Bloody hell, ref. He's kicked off before I could even see. Right, we're just going to pause for a second. I noticed this yesterday when I was playing my foot champs qualies and when I was playing, even when I was playing squad battles last night on semi-pro, I noticed that my through balls were just hitting people that they shouldn't have been and it was just going all over the place. Now, I've also just scored a couple of goals whilst doing really nice through balls. My through balls have been on full manual. On the one hand, I'm actually weirdly kind of impressed with myself because I played foot champs qualies and... <laughs> Went 8-2, and two, I think. And this game, for the first 40 minutes, with manual through balls on. And it was actually scoring goals with through balls, which is kind of crazy. So, shout out to me. But also, why on earth has that happened? I only, know, I only looked because someone I should have shot. I only looked because someone in my chat... There we go. Someone in my chat said, there's reset to manual. I was just like, what? And I've looked... And minded. How has that happened? Also, first winning of foot champs. Very nice. All right, game number two is against a much more normal foot champs -y kind of team. Still no Mbappes and Hullerton stuff, which is nice to start us off with, but everyone in foot champs is a good player because you have to qualify. So no messing around. Brain engaged. Let's play. What a manual through ball for me! Manual through balls! How am I so- Oh my god, how am I doing this? Just build different. Right, it really winds me up that you change it in-game, and it doesn't change it for the next game as well. I've, please, somebody in the Twitch chat, remind me to change it outside of the game. What a manual through ball for me, though. Go on, Van Dijk. Or Dan Juma. No worries. That'll do as well. That's fine. We take those. All right, Malin, have a day off, mate. All right, Malin, have a day off, mate. Okay, we've got ourselves a sweaty game. Incisive pass, Kane. Oh, that's a terrible goal. Ah, uh, such a stinky goal. We take them, but it's a stinky goal. Yeah. Oh, I was literally just about to say, if you can't, if you don't like Zidane on this game, it's skill diff. <laughs> and then he saved it. Van Dijk's back sticks. He's not won it. Ducore has, though. Skill diff. Oh, he's blocked it. All right, there you go in, thankfully. There we go. 4-1. 2-0, it would seem. It would seem. Very nice. All right. This is going quite well. We're playing good. We've got the brain engaged. The team's playing well. We've got good players. We've got a good right back. We need to go change our settings, but I'm going to do that off camera because I'm going to end that video there. Foot Champs Team of the Year is a go. Next episode will be my Team of the Year Foot Champs rewards. And hopefully me getting 15 wins. Cross your fingers for me. I'll see you then.